preparations for the last servicing mission to the Hubble Space Telescope are well underway at several NASA facilities. Almost all 22,000 pounds of Service Mission 4 hardware is at some stage of integration and test at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. This includes new gyros, batteries, fine guidance sensor, astronaut tools, support hardware, a new docking ring, the carrier systems, and two new Hubble science instruments. The Wide Field Camera 3 begins its third and final thermal vacuum test shortly, where it will experience the harshness of space inside a large simulator for several weeks. The service mission for astronauts come to Goddard to practice installing the camera into the Hubble Space Telescope High Fidelity Mechanical Simulator, as well as the carrier systems that will transport the camera to orbit on board the space shuttle. The Wide Field Camera 3 will be Hubble's most advanced camera, increasing its discovery efficiency by a factor of five. The Cosmic Origin Spectrograph, a point source ultraviolet spectrograph, is ready for flight. Astronauts practice installing costs into the High Fidelity Mechanical Simulator and the carrier systems. At Goddard, engineers and astronauts work together developing tools and techniques to resurrect two malfunctioning science instruments currently on orbit inside Hubble. Both the Space Telescope Imaging Spectrograph and the Advanced Camera for Surveys suffered power supply failures. This is the first time a repair like this has ever been done on orbit. One of NASA's premier training facilities at the Johnson Space Center in Houston is the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory. In this 6.2 million gallon swimming pool, Goddard engineers work alongside the astronauts as they train for the mission. Scientists and engineers are excited about flying this last servicing mission to the Hubble Space Telescope, and we'll update you periodically as preparations continue.